Hey, how you doing? So here I am. I'm going to talk a little bit about what the title is, Recovering from a Big Food Day. And this is probably really good timing as uh, the day after our Thanksgiving. Um, oh, I'm just getting a notification there. It says, congrats, this is your 50th broadcast. I didn't realize I've done 50 broadcasts. So if you're tuning in, go ahead. You can add to the comments below. We can talk together or you can just be quiet and and add to the conversation a little bit later but recovering from a big food day I tell you I woke up this morning and you know when sometimes you feel like your skin hurts because there's you know usually salt or whatnot I think like yesterday being Thanksgiving it was um, a big food day <laughs> and uh, you know and I think that's allowed and I think step number one these are like my opinions step number one is just like relax and forgive yourself right it's not a big deal I, I used to um, have a little bit of an issue when I would eat a lot I would the first thing I would do was um, just kind of go through this mental battle of oh my gosh I can't believe I did that and almost go into this um, destructive mode where I would feel like I would need to punish those calories back out. So when going into step number one in doing some fasted cardio first thing in the morning, doing that fasted cardio first thing in the morning is not out of um, not liking your body. It's not out of shaming yourself for having a big meal. It's simply to get some sweat going just to get the extra salts out, um, just to get the extra sugar. Because what happens actually in our muscles when we have a big meal or when we have a lot more than what we're normally having or foods that we don't normally have is our glycogen in our muscles spikes up. So that's why I recommend um, doing fasted cardio, but not for hours and hours and not brutal punishing cardio, just a moderate type of fat burning cardio that's going to get your heart rate up a little bit. It's going to get the sweat going and it gets things moving, if you know what I mean, right? And so that way you're not overdoing it for your muscles because you are in a, it, being in a fasted state. Thanks for the like there. I see that you're here. Um, because if you're doing something like weightlifting or something, it's better to have a little something in your body and so that you're not like, so because your muscles need fuel in order to get bigger. So <laughs> awesome way to go, Mark. Marty says his gym day is done and I think that is that is great like you don't want to miss this day you don't want to miss the day after and you don't want to miss the day of um, that's just what my opinion and what I recommend and there's there's kind of like a little bit of, of a lethargic feeling the day after a big food day so step number one is just like let it go carry on move on step number two is wake up in the morning and do some fasted cardio and if you can't do that in the morning get to the gym later on that day but just carry on step number three what i like to do is have a big glass of ginger cayenne, cayenne pepper lemon water and i just i sip on it for the majority of the morning um you know probably about an hour in the morning it doesn't take me long to drink water and that helps to detoxify the body Another thing I highly recommend is keep far, far, far away from the scale. It's not going to reflect anything except for um, the extra water retention your body and your muscles will be carrying from just the extra food. That's it. By two or three days after a big food day, usually everything on the scale normalizes. So, so wait, so wait, wait a week. Really, we don't need to do that to ourselves. <laughs> really, it's just not fair. It's not, uh, you know, I, I know times where I could be like 10 pounds heavier the next day just because of water retention alone and salt. And, and the more muscular you are, the more water your muscles will hold because that's what they do when they repair so that's kind of I'm going off a topic a little bit but just just so that things are you gotta be gentle uh, so number four is just carry on carry on carry on 
um, it's one day. And if we are like exercising and feeling healthy for lifestyle, then if we're not able to give ourselves a little bit of cushion when our, you know, when we do have celebrations in our lives, I think Thanksgiving and Christmas and birthdays and, and, you know, if we're not allowing ourselves to celebrate, um, and have what we truly want on those days, then I, I, in my opinion, that's, that's not lifestyle, that's deprivation. And, you know, there's lots of different alternative things that we can do to make our meals more healthful. Like yesterday, I made this coconut milk pumpkin pie and everybody loved it. And the reason why I made it, because I knew there might be leftovers. And if there's leftovers in my fridge, I'm going to eat them. And yeah, I had it today guilt-free because I know it's sugar-free. I know it's good for me. And and the only thing that might that I wouldn't have regularly is the crust. But really, I did my fasted cardio. <laughs> so anyways, I'm not going to go on and on. You have a great day too. Thanks for being here. I got to run as well. I just wanted to talk a little bit. I did another blog post today and um, I getting my blog active again because I find that it's a really nice way to be able to share with people um, on, on a different level than what I can share here. I write better than I talk. <laughs> I really do. So in, in my opinion, maybe that's just my opinion. <laughs> but um, you can catch that at kwfitclub.com. It's the latest blog post on uh, a collection of before and afters. And so if you wanted to have a look at that, go ahead and let me know what you think. If you're catching this later on, please comment whenever you feel as though if you wanna send me a private message, a question, anytime, I'm here to, um, you know, I don't know, just help, I suppose. And sometimes it's better written than it is said, but a lot of times it's just nice to see um, the face behind the words and and uh, I thank you for being here. I thank you for always supporting this page and, and me and, and bringing so much energy here. So I will see you again tomorrow. Facebook Live days are going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I think, for now. <laughs> All right, take care.